Dr. Andrea Necchi, medical oncologist from Milan in Italy. You summarized the results of recent trials in advanced bladder cancer. How would you describe the progress, progress which has been made? The problem is, is, um, is simply described because we, we spend a lot of time uh, dealing with clinical trials that were negative and uh, negative results with targeted agents or chemotherapy, in the, particularly in the salvage setting of metastatic disease. But now things are completely changing and completely changing based on the new information that are available from the Cancer Genome Atlas and for potentially drug board targets in this, uh, in this disease. And, uh, a number, as I presented, a number of clinical trials are being developed in, uh, or informed clinical trials are being developed in this disease, particularly in the salvage setting, but not, not only in this, in this setting. And, um, and each of these trials is potentially practice changing. So we, uh, we got the information that uh, is necessary to change the paradigm of this disease. The, the problem now is to frame this information into the right clinical trial. What are the most promising targeted agents which are currently being studied? Uh, as I presented, there are uh, in particular two, two targets and two drugs that are being developed. One is uh, alizotib, which is uh, being developed in my center in a phase two trial in the salvage setting. Alizotib is, uh, is developed by Millennium and uh, is an, an aurora kinase A inhibitor. Which aurora kinase A inhibitor is a very promising target in this disease. Uh, this drug already provided activity in preclinical setting and is being developed in, in, at our center in a phase two study. The second point is relative to the immune checkpoint regulators and immune targeting and uh, in particular PDL1 was emerged as, a, as one of the most promising targets in, the, in this disease and, uh, and the very interesting target is a very interesting drug targeting this, um, this agent. This, uh, this target is um, MPDL, uh, which is a um, monoclonal antibody against MPDL1 developed by Roche. Uh, and, uh, and the phase two study is going to start uh, in advance and the first line bladder cancer in, uh, with, uh, with this drug, with NPDL drugs, uh, and an anti PDL drug in this disease. And what do you expect of the trials with the immune, immune checkpoint inhibitors? Well, what we expect is basically, uh, what always we expect is a survival advantage of these patients. MPDL 3280 has the, the advantage uh, and the potential to, to really change the story of this disease and uh, we will focus basically on response rate at the first step uh, but uh, I very, I'm very much interested not only in, uh, in conventional responses but also in the, the so-called immune related responses so the unconventional responses that are not only based on the size, size change in our tumor masses and, um, and of, of Obviously, the next step would be to the translation of this uh, potential advantage in uh, improvement in response rate in a survival advantage. Why is there a need to improve the way research is being performed nowadays? Basically, because uh, people are still dying of disease. Uh, the, the overall survival, the median overall survival estimate is still six months. This is the starting point. People are dying of this disease, people have no uh, chances for cure, there are no option, no therapeutic option when they fail first line chemotherapy, except for Vinflunin in Europe. Uh, there is no, still no FDA approved agent is, uh, in this disease, so we need to change the paradigm, not only in the identify the right target, but the, in the right way we move forward. And uh, uh, this need uh, that we get structure for more informed clinical trials and more practice changing clinical trials, collaborative trials that are based on uh, a driver-based driver trials that are based on uh, a, a different collaboration between, uh, between partners, between academia and pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies, between countries, among countries, and um, so we need to change everything that has been used so far, developing, these, um, developing new agents in clinical trials, in this setting at least. What initiatives are there at the moment to improve this? The initiative are, uh, there are a number of initiatives here throughout the world. Uh, in Europe, 
in, uh, in the ORTC framework, framework in particular, uh, we are developing for a number of uh, disease um, the, the SPECTA model, which is a different way to move uh, to move forward in the, in the relationship between academia and pharmaceutical companies, to a different way to screen patients before entering or except in parallel from entering clinical trials or not. And this will be probably applied also in bladder cancer. And we need a, a similar infrastructure to move forward towards uh, New, new agent to identification of new agents to identification of before new identification of new targets and particularly in the relationship with uh, pharmaceutical companies to try to develop together uh, new drugs and uh, I will include finally uh, the patients because uh, I think that um, the central role in this process will be patient and patient organization will be one of the key for the success and the cooperation for patient with patient organization would be would, could be one of the potential key for for success in this disease thank you very much thank you.